Billy Sterling of ParamountSports.com, and today I'm going to break down and predict the season for the Nebraska Cornhuskers in the 2021-2022 season. They were three and five last year, um, and and pretty much it, it starts with a quarterback. Quarterback's the most important position. If Adrian Martinez has a great year. They'll be much improved. We see more of the same with all these turnovers. Um, you know, it could be another losing season, but. Uh, they just have to take some of the pressure off of them. And I think part of that might be Luke McCaffrey. He transferred out, so he doesn't have to look over his shoulder, worry about getting replaced another year in the system, and maybe a little bit better talent around him at running back and receiver in the line um, could be a touch better also. So with that in mind, if he relaxes, and it just allows his talent and reads the defenses correctly, we could see an improved season from Adrian Martinez. Running back position, uh, I think it depends here in Marquis Step, the transfer from USC. What I saw uh, last year and in the spring game, a lot of pedestrian running backs. If he's better than them, they can be pretty good. If not, they're going to have to throw the ball early and often. Or <laughs> Adrian Martinez will be running for his life and running a lot more. Receiver position, they got a, a a boost from a transfer from Montana. Who Whoever thought that Nebraska would be excited about a transfer from Montana, but that's the case here. So uh, they get this kid, uh, Samori Tor. He's a guy that, uh, Tor, he's just, he's, he's solid. I mean, he catches almost everything you throw to him. He, he played uh, at, at Montana and had, I think it was something like uh, almost 2,500 receiving yards. Uh, averaged over 16 yards of reception. Uh, so I think that he's going to be a big boost to the wide receiving core, uh, but no one's elite on the receiving core. So you win games with having a couple elite players at the skill positions and we're dominating line play. And I don't think they're quite there yet. Defensive line actually is intriguing. So they got some huge guys up front, 295, 335, and 315. If they can keep those guys off their linebackers, which are okay, um, do they're going to allow them to make a lot of plays. And they're also, if they get some pressure on the quarterback, only 13 sacks last year, it's going to help their DBs. I think their defensive backfield is good. I mean, they have uh, Cam Taylor Britt, who is absolutely elite at cornerback. He's a shutdown corner. But when you only have 13 sacks in eight games, uh, it led to them – having the number 55 pass defense. As good as your DBs are, they can't cover for four or five seconds. So a little bit better pass rush, getting teams in third and long situations, which I think they will more this year, could be helpful. And um, I think this team's going to be improved. Uh, are they going to be great? No, but I think they're going to be improved. Schedule, pretty tough. Uh, they got to play at Oklahoma, at Wisconsin, then home versus Michigan, Ohio State and Iowa. So I'm going to predict a seven and five season for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. And I think Scott Frost probably bought himself one more year. So should be fun to watch, should be improved, but not quite there just yet. So you want to hop on Paramount Sports. We're the leader uh, in football, number one in the country. You can go to covers.com, look at our record. College and football combined number one out of almost 40 handicappers. Just go there, check out the website under recent results. Every selection is listed for the last five years. ParamountSports.com, entire season, $1,397 with coupon code SAVE300 or call the office 800-400-9741.